Today we're going to be going over what equipment I use to make my videos, and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. Well, this is a viewer request video that we're doing here. I've had some people ask me they want to know what I use to shoot videos with. Everybody uses something different. There's people that got fancy cameras. There's people who use their phones. There's people that use GoPros or other action cameras. I'm a mixture of both. So let's go ahead and I'll get started and show you what I use. So the first thing we're going to go over is, is what I use outside when I video outside because I use something different when I video inside. So what I'm going to show you is if you watch my channel and you watch my shooting videos, you know I have two cameras. The one that I have on the target here is a GoPro 7 white. This is not a very fancy action camera at all. This is like their basic one you can get. Originally, this was the only GoPro I had. And then I bought the other one right here. I'll show you in a minute. But these things are like dirt cheap. If you guys follow my channel, you know I'm not made of money. I have a limited income. So none of my stuff is nice, new, and fancy. Everything I have is old, rickety and outdated technology but hey it works but that's what i use for my target camera and the other thing i like about this is because it's a cheaper one if i accidentally hit it i'm not out much with it now the main camera i use outside is going to be the gopro 7 black here now this one has a lot more features on it you can actually remove the uh, screen on this or the protective lens i should say if it gets cracked that's one thing i didn't mention if you do the white this one, if you crack that lens, you're done. It's not replaceable. On the black, it is. This has a lot of features on it. One of the features I liked about it back when I had my RC channel was that it had GPS so I could show the speed on it. And I would mount this on top of the RC car, drive it around, and down in the corner, you could see the speed on it. For shooting videos and everything, though, it's just my better camera. It's got more um, options on the microphone to cut out wind noise. And that's what I use for my cameras outside. Now, what else do I use with them? I have two different tripods here. These are nothing fancy either. This tripod right here, this is how I use it set up. You know, it's got the three adjustments for the height on it. You can adjust it up and down everything. Nothing real fancy about it. Just something cheap off of Amazon and it works. And what I use is these little GoPro cages here. On the target camera, I run it just like this. Now, this other tripod I got here that I run the camera on facing me, this one came from Walmart. It's a little bit beefier, but once again, nothing special. has all the same stuff on that. Now, I have a cage on here, but you can see I have this foam piece on it. This is a sock to cut out wind noise, so that's why I put my main camera in this one. But once again, you can see here, nothing special. And the one that I'm using right now, videoing with me, is the little rickety crack one that came with my um, Coldwell chronograph. It absolutely sucks, so I always use this inside to hold my phone, which I'm recording on right now because I use my phone on the inside. And like I said, it's rickety and everything. I do put my uh, other chronograph on it when I do my chronograph videos, but none of this is special. This is all budget stuff from Walmart and from uh, Amazon nothing that great so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up the gopro here so i can show you what i use on the inside all right now what do i use for my inside videoing my cell phone here once again nothing fancy this is an iphone xr this is the phone i use every day once again i don't have the money to have to get all the newest equipment and everything i've had this phone for years i've done all my videoing on the inside with this and as you can see, it is nothing special, just an iPhone XR. Now, the reason why I use this on the inside is right now when my GoPro 7 Black, I had to actually go behind the screen, look, and make sure it's pointed at me. Where when I use my cell phone, I got the screen facing me so I could see everything that's going on. And it makes it real nice for doing videos inside. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tripod I used with this. And like I said, this is the piece of junk rickety one that comes with a Coldwell chronographs here. And then I just have a metal phone holder here. I ended up going with a metal one because I kept breaking the plastic ones. So I went with metal and it does have a spot here to put the microphone. 
but I don't use a microphone shotgun microphone anymore. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I use now. So what I use now is a Comica wireless setup here. They actually sent this to me when I had my RC car channel to do a video with on them. I think they wanted me to do the video on TikTok or something. And I was like, yeah, I can do a short video going over the features about this. But this case actually has the equipment inside of it and everything's rechargeable. You got your main unit here and then it has two different microphones with it that come in here so I can have at least two people hooked up on this system. And then over here, I have a windsock for it. When I do use it outside, I put this windsock on it. And then I have the adapters here and everything to go from it to an iPhone. Because of course, iPhone's got to use a different connector than everybody else. But as you can see here, this is nothing special either. I like this because the case, you charge the case and it'll keep everything in here charged up. It has a lot of cool features on it that I like and you guys usually see it hanging off my head or whatnot when I'm doing videos on the inside. And that's basically my microphone setup. All right, so now I switch back to my phone setup here just because I like it better because I can see in the screen, see what's going on and everything. Plus you guys could probably tell an audio difference because I got the microphone on here. Like I said, you usually see that on my hat and everything. This is what I use to do my videos with. Nothing high tech, just budget stuff gets the job done. Now, would I like better cameras, newer GoPros, a newer phone? Actually, I wouldn't even want a newer phone. What I would like is just a better camera to where I could have the screen on the side to flip it around so I could see what's going on with a micro with this microphone setup. That way I could use it inside and outside and that would eliminate all of this except for the target cam. I would keep the target cam, but yes, I would love to have a new fancier camera like that. But hey, when you got a budget, this is what I use. You guys seem to like the videos, so it works for me. You can tell you don't need nothing fancy to do these videos. A lot of people just use their cell phones. A lot of people just use their cell phones without a microphone. You know, for inside, that's fine. When you're outside, you get a lot of wind noise if the wind's blowing. Some people don't like that in videos. I know I don't personally. If I hear a lot of wind noise and I can't hear you talk, usually I just stop watching the video. That's just me, though. Other people are different. But that's my setup here, and it works for me for now. Would I like to upgrade in the future? Yes, but that's what I use. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video here of me talking about my equipment. Like I said, this was a VR. A couple of people asked me about it. And I said, yes, I can do that video for you. It's going to be real quick, easy to do, and easy to edit. And I love videos like that. And I love it when you guys give me video ideas. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there, I have links to Axel Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. Some got discount codes to save you guys money. Others are affiliate accounts that do help out the channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.